Welcome to Copilot Studio Agent Academy. This is Mission 3 Deploy Declarative Agent for Microsoft 365 Copilot. My name is Eliza Benitez, and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this lab, we're going to learn how to deploy a declarative agent for Microsoft 365 Copilot, make it smarter with an AI prompt, and test and publish our declarative agent. Let's get started. So what exactly is a declarative agent? Think of it as your specialized operative embedded directly into Microsoft 365 Copilot. So unlike traditional chatbots, declarative agents, well, they are tailored versions of Microsoft 365 Copilot designed for specific needs. Now, every declarative agent has three components that make it powerful. First, clear instructions that define its mission and purpose, essentially what the agent is designed to do. Second, tools like prompts, connectors, and integrations give it specialized capabilities. And third, it can access enterprise knowledge sources like SharePoint, Dataverse, and other company data. The goal here is simple but powerful create personalized experiences with enhanced functionality for your users. Instead of a generic assistant, your employees, they get a specialist who understands their specific challenges and has the right tools to help solve them. Now you might be wondering, okay, well, why should I use Microsoft Copilot Studio when Agent Builder and Microsoft 365 Copilot already exists? Great question. So when it comes to knowledge sources, the Agent Builder gives you web, SharePoint, Teams chats, and Outlook emails, and all your organization's Copilot connectors. But Copilot Studio, it opens up your entire enterprise ecosystem. So you can use SharePoint, Dataverse, Dynamics 365, and again, all your organization's Copilot connectors. For tools, the Agent Builder offers Code Interpreter and Image Generator. Whereas in Copilot Studio, you get access to over 1,400 Power Platform connectors, custom connectors, prompts, computer use capabilities, REST APIs, and model context protocol support. Publishing options are another advantage. The Agent Builder only publishes to Microsoft 365 Copilot. With Copilot Studio, you can publish to both Microsoft 365 Copilot and Teams. This gives your users more ways to access your agent. And here's a big one for collaboration. In Agent Builder, users are just viewers. In Copilot Studio, you can make users editors or viewers enabling true collaborative development and reducing single points of failure. Now the following are the enterprise grade features that really set Copilot Studio apart. These are the capabilities that transform your agent from a helpful assistant into a business critical tool. With AI prompts, you can select from several models. You have basic, standard or premium chat models. And you can even bring your own Azure AI Foundry models for specialized use cases. As mentioned earlier, you can have external service integration. We're talking DocuSign for document workflows, ServiceNow for IT service management, Salesforce for CM integration, and much more. And in terms of deployment, you can choose which channels to publish to and define granular user permissions. Want to publish to Teams for easier adoption? Done. Need to share editing permissions across your team? No problem. And here's the best part. You don't need to be a developer to build these powerful integrations. The platform handles the complexity while you focus on, well, solving business problems. So in this lab, we are going to build a business to employee IT help desk agent. We'll start with the natural language agent creation using the conversational experience. Then we'll integrate an IT expert prompt that gives your agent 
specialized knowledge for troubleshooting technical issues. We'll publish it to Microsoft 365 Copilot and Teams for maximum accessibility. The end result will be a fully functional IT support agent that can help employees with device problems, network troubleshooting, printer setup, and more. Now, before we begin, make sure you've completed the earlier missions. First thing to do is sign into Microsoft Copilot Studio and make sure you switch to the environment you're using for these labs. This ensures everything we build today stays organized in the right environment workspace. Once you're in your environment, look for the Agents menu and select Copilot for Microsoft 365. This is your gateway to building declarative agents that integrate directly with Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now here's where it gets exciting. Click the Add Agent button and you'll see the conversational creation experience. This isn't traditional development where you're filling out complex forms or writing code. Instead, you're literally having a conversation with Copilot about what you want to build. Let's create our IT help desk agent by describing what we want in plain natural language. Copy and paste this description from the lab exercise. Notice how we're referring to four key elements, the task of the agent, what types of inquiries it can handle, the format of its response, and the goal of the agent. After you submit this, watch the right-hand side pane. You'll see it update with the agent details based on your description. Copilot will suggest a name for your agent. You can either accept it by typing yes or give it a custom name. Let's call ours Contoso Tech Support Pro to make it more personalized. One thing to keep in mind, the conversational creation experience can vary slightly each time. So don't worry if your Copilot questions are a bit different from what I'm showing. Next, we'll refine the instructions to define how our agent communicates. I like what Copilot suggested, so I'll ask it to use its own suggestions. Copilot will ask if we want to add publicly accessible websites or knowledge. For this lab, we'll say no, because we're focusing on adding a prompt as a tool. Don't worry, we'll cover knowledge sources in future missions. It's now let us know the agent is ready, but let's refine it some more. We'll specify that it should be concise and informative with bullet points, use empathy in communication, and ask for feedback after providing solutions. When Copilot confirms it's updated the instructions, click Create to provision your declarative agent. This is the moment where your description becomes a real functional agent. Once created, you'll see the agent details page. Take a moment to explore. You'll see the description and instructions we define, plus capabilities for adding knowledge, web search, starter prompts, and publishing options. Now, if you want to make it truly yours, click Edit in the Details section to change the agent icon and background color. This might seem minor, but visual identity matters when users are choosing which agent to interact with. Let's do a quick test. Select one of the starter prompts in the test pane. Watch how the agent responds. Notice it follows our instructions by using bullet points, showing empathy, and asking for feedback. This is your agent already working exactly as designed. In just a few minutes, you've created a functional declarative agent using natural language. But wait, we're just getting started. This agent is smart, but it doesn't have specialized tools yet. Let's make it smarter by adding an AI prompt that gives the agent expertise for problem solving and providing technical knowledge. Let's start by scrolling down to the tool section in your agent and clicking add tool. You'll see a modal appear with a list of Power Platform connectors. This shows you the incredible range of integrations available, but we want something even more powerful. So click new tool. Now you'll see the real magic, a list of advanced tools, including prompt, custom connector, REST API, and model context protocol. For our lab, select prompt. First, let's name our prompt IT expert. Names matter because this is how your agent will reference and invoke this tool later. Next, you'll see model options. Click the chevron next to model to explore your choices. You have basic GBT40 mini selected by default, 
but you could choose standard or premium models or even bring your own Azure AI Foundry models for specialized use cases. We'll stick with the default for this lab. Now here's where it gets interesting. Copilot Studio gives you three different approaches to creating prompts, and I want to show you all three. First, let's try having Copilot generate instructions for us. Enter this description. I need an IT expert that can help answer questions related to networking, computer systems, user devices, and anything else IT related. Watch as Copilot drafts a prompt for you in real time. Pretty amazing, right? You'll see it creates comprehensive instructions and even defines input parameters automatically. This is perfect when you want to get started quickly and need inspiration. Now let's clear those instructions and try the prompt library. Click the prompt library link and you'll see a curated collection from the Para Platform prompt library. Search for IT expert and select it. Notice how this template is structured. It defines the task, the types of inquiries it handles, and the response format. This approach is ideal when you want proven professional grade prompts. Finally, let's clear this and manually add the prompt. Copy and paste the IT expert prompt from the lab exercise. Now we need to configure the input parameter. You see that problem placeholder in square brackets? That's where user questions will be inserted. Click Add Contact and select text to configure this parameter. Name it Input Problem and add sample data like My Laptop Gets an Error with a Blue Screen. This sample data helps test the prompt and shows other users what kind of input to provide. It's always crucial to test your prompts before saving and using them. Click Test and watch the magic happen. Notice how the response followed our instructions perfectly. This is your specialized IT expert in action. Now before we save, let's explore the advanced settings. Click the ellipsis icon to see three important options. Temperature controls creativity versus consistency, lower for predictable results, and higher for creative solutions. Record retrieval affects how much knowledge the prompt can access, and include links in response add citations when using knowledge sources. Click Save to preserve your prompt. Then select Add to Agent to integrate it with your declarative agent. You'll see it appear under Tools and your agent now has its first specialized capability. Next, we'll update our agent's instructions to automatically invoke this IT expert prompt when users ask technical questions. Scroll up to the Details section and click Edit. This makes the instruction fields editable. Here's where we are going to give our agent very specific guidance about when and how to use its new tool. We're going to replace the existing instructions with something much more focused. Clear the current instructions and copy and paste the instructions from the lab exercise. Notice how precise this instruction is. We're telling the agent three critical things. First, the trigger condition, when users ask about device problems. Second, which tool to use, specifically the IT expert prompt. And third, how to use it. Take the user's question and pass it as the problem input parameter. This is the beauty of natural language orchestration. No complex coding, no API configurations, just clear human readable instructions that tell your agent how to coordinate its capabilities. Let's see if everything works together. First, click Save to update the instructions. Now we need to refresh the test pane so it picks up our new instructions. Click the refresh icon in the test pane. Here's our test question, something that should trigger our IT expert prompt. Can you help me? My laptop is encountering a blue screen. Watch what happens when you submit this. Your agent doesn't just respond with general advice. Instead, it recognizes this as a device question automatically invokes the IT expert prompt, passes the question as the input, and returns specialized technical guidance. Let's next publish this agent and make it available in Microsoft 365 Copilot and Microsoft Teams. Click Publish to begin the deployment process. When the publishing model appears, you'll see two critical sections, channels and agent app information. 
This is where you control how and where your agent becomes available to users. The agent app information is what users will see when they discover your agent. Take a moment to customize the short description, long description, and developer name. Click publish again to start the actual deployment process. Watch as Copilot Studio provisions your agent across Microsoft's infrastructure. This is the moment your development work becomes a real business solution. Once publishing completes, you'll see four powerful availability options, each serving different organizational needs. Let's explore the sharing features. Click show to my teammates and shared users. You'll see options to search for specific users, email addresses, or security groups. You can manage exactly who has access and how they're notified about your agent. Now for the exciting part. Let's test your agent in the real Microsoft 365 Copilot. Click copy to get the share link, then paste it into a new browser tab. Watch as Microsoft 365 Copilot loads with your agent's details displayed. The developer name, descriptions, everything you configured during publishing is now live. Click add to make your agent available. Your agent loads with those starter prompts we configured, making it immediately accessible to users. Let's test it by selecting one of the prompts. Submit the pre-populated question. Select always allow to give your agent permission to invoke the IT expert prompt. The agent will respond as expected using our AI prompt. But here's a pro tip for debugging and validation in Microsoft 365 Copilot. Type hyphen developer space on to enable developer mode in Microsoft 365 Copilot. This reveals the agent orchestration happening behind the scenes. Test again with our blue screen question. After you get the response, expand agent debug info to see exactly how the system worked. You can see that the agent orchestrator correctly identified the technical question, selected your IT expert prompt, and executed it successfully. This level of insight helps you understand and improve your agent's performance. But we're not done yet. Your agent is also available in Teams. Navigate to apps in Microsoft 365 and select Teams. Select Agree, and you'll see your agent listed alongside other agents in Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. Now over in the left menu, search for your Contoso Tech Support Pro agent or find it in the app list. You can even pin it to the team sidebar for quick access. This integration means your users can get IT help directly within their collaboration environment. Test your agent in Teams with the same blue screen question and notice how it provides the same expert level response, but now within the familiar Teams interface where your employees already spend their time. Mission accomplished. You successfully deployed a declarative agent that will reduce IT support burden while providing immediate expert level assistance to your employees. And that wraps up mission three of the Copilot Studio Asian Academy. So keep experimenting, keep building, and always keep learning. We'll see you in the next mission of the Asian Academy.